Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back, Brandon again. Today, I wanna to talk a little bit about form, and it's something that I talk about a lot. And it's at one of those points now where it's always tough to take a look at where I am and also take a look at where I want to be. And what I mean by that is there's a lot of things that I would like to fix with my form, but that being said, I mean, I've been training for 20 years, and I think a lot of that, it's just ingrained. Those movement patterns of how I've been doing things are ingrained into how I train, and it's very tough to change them. And I think I've become pretty efficient at moving weight given those circumstances. So obviously it's not optimal. I've done a couple of videos on kind of what works for me, and I think I've become very good at getting by with the hands that I've been dealt, whether it comes to just how my knees track, my lack of arch, my leverages, whatever the case may be. But that being said, it's at that point right now, which also happens to me maybe once a year, maybe more often, depending on how training is going, where I really want to reassess things and I really get it in my head that I want to fix some of these issues. Now, even though I've been training a long time and I'm a little bit older in terms of YouTube standards, I'm 37 years old, soon to be 38 in a couple of months, I still have a long training career ahead of me and it's like one of those things where I look at it like, oh, I've been training too long, it's too late to try to change things, but I could make some changes now and even if I spent the next 20 years fixing them, I'd be 58-ish, which I would still like to be lifting when I'm around that age because the truth of the matter is I'm playing that long game, holding out for those senior level lifting statistics. So my, my goal is to just basically outlive and outlift everybody so I don't face any competition at the higher levels when I'm an old, old man. So that's one of the things that I'm looking at now. The top sets of this week, which you're about to see, I think they moved all right. I switched back to flats in the middle of these sets right here, which caused me to actually have to go on my tippy toes to rack this. But I just wasn't liking how heels had felt. And luckily for me, I can go back and forth with flats and heels and not really see that much of a drop off, but it's probably not optimal in the long term. Uh, deadlifts, I've been really trying to get my back in a little bit of a better position, but it's just one of those things that's tough and I do not want to pull sumo. So I think what I will be doing after this week going forward is going to try to assess and reassess some of those form issues and try to fix them. It might cause the weight to be lighter for a longer period of time, but I think that might benefit me in a long run too because I have the tendency to get beat up when there's a ton of volume and a ton of intensity. So we'll see how things goes. And if it doesn't work out well, then you'll know in a week or two because I'll probably get frustrated and go back just to the way things have been. So we'll see how things go. It might be interesting, might not be, but at least it's enough content for this particular training week. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.